I knew that I wanted to be an actor. And I already knew that I wanted to become a director. I still very much want that, but it's not the only thing I wanted to know about. So far, what I learned from directing is that directing is not one subject. Theater is never one subject. I looked at the theater and I met some of the professors and I knew that this is where I was supposed to be. There are so few programs that merge theater and education together the way that Manhattanville does. I was going to go into Riverdance, but I turned it down to come here. If you want to be on stage, you need to be aware. Stand by like you, one, two, one. They want diversity. They want people with different backgrounds, different accents, different looks. You become so close with everyone in your class, and it's really like a tight-knit community. We're collaborators. We, we work for the betterment of each other as a group, as a unit. This is the, an amazing place to feel safe enough to grow and safe enough to, um, to play and make mistakes and, and, and find yourself. <laughs> we watch the show and we tell everyone when to go. Enjoy the show. The students study a very long, very challenging program in our department. And then they have the responsibility of all of the other required courses, a minor, the distribution courses, and in order to grow in many, many, many directions. I was a double major, double minor. Um, English literature, theater, philosophy, art, and I would have done more if I would have had more time. And on top of that, I did all these programs. Like, I wouldn't stop. I think the most credit-heavy major on the campus. And so I was squeezing that in four years and then also took a whole semester to go to the National Theater Institute and do conservatory-style theater training for one semester. You can't help but evolve when someone's constantly challenging you to do more, be more, from a very loving place. If they're willing to push you, that means you're gonna get better. It, it means that they're not gonna go soft on you, that means they're trying to teach you. And I wanna be pushed, I wanna be better at what I'm doing. Whatever gifts the student brings, uh, rub, rub up against the challenges, and hopefully a spark happens. So there's always been moments of frustration in every production. Always some conflict while we're making um, different project because everybody had different passions and everyone had huge passions and different ideas. Followed by a moment of triumph when you actually find a solution to the problem and come together as an ensemble and accomplish something really beautiful that you can be proud of. There are three different aspects of your training and your study here. One is what you know traditionally from a conservatory, which is skill-based training in dance and acting classes and performance, where you're in a play or you're in a dance concert. But there's another part to this program, which is an academic training, where you do research and study in the theory of the works that you're practicing, the fields that you're practicing. And there's a third aspect, which is that you're also backstage. So you also study lighting design and do stage management. We want our students to not only perform, dance, sing and act, but we want them to think and we want them to be able to articulate ideas. There was one class I took and it was like a performance seminar. She would have us go into the city and see all these different shows and then we'd have to come back and write reviews and we learned how to become dance critics, which was also Amazing. I never saw my professor lecturing me. They always give us the question, what do you think? Should it be that way or this way? I call it mentoring program. Balance, balance is definitely key. It's about being open, being willing to try new things. If it's photography, film, if it's lighting, if it's dance, if it's theater, Find your passion, you, you can find it here. If you don't find yourself here, then go take this class. And if you don't find yourself here, take that. So there's so many opportunities for, for identity or for discovery. 
what am I going to do after four years? What do I want? Do I want grad school? Do I want to start working? Do I even want to be in this field at all? I've had the freedom to figure that out and ask those questions. And I think that's one of the biggest advantages any student's going to have here is that they're going to figure those things out. In 2008, I co-founded People's Theatre Project. It's a nonprofit, community-based arts and social justice organization. And it all started with, with the possibility that exists in the school of you can do both. And, and theatre can be this and it can also be that. Uh, and it's not one excluding the others. I work uh, at MasterCard Worldwide next door to Manhattanville's campus. I also teach dance, uh, hip hop and break dancing. I also still play basketball. I play for the ABA, the American Basketball Association. Just recently finished wrapping a film called The Silver Lining Playbook. It was with great actresses, big stars, Bradley Cooper, Robert De Niro, Julia Stiles, the list goes on. And um, I was a principal dancer, so all my hard work in dance paid off. <laughs> They're forming companies, they're dancing with people, they're doing lighting design, they're stage managing, they're going off and teaching, they're starting studios. It's marvelous. The department is really full of wonderful people who want the genuine best for you.